slightly noisy cafe with Sarah from Rock Hue magazine. <laughs> and Katie's drinking her bubble milk tea. I can't help it, it's my first time ever trying it, it's really good. <laughs>
I should say, um, and are interested in it, look up the magazine, support it as much as possible, let's grow this market as much as we can, just like the later, and get the word out there so that people really understand what it's about. So yeah, this would be great. We need to, I need to find, we need to find a very small space. And when I was there, I went to see this amazing cover art. The DJ did nothing. He just stood on stage, played a few CDs. He actually told you what song to play every time. He had a little picture on He sat there smoking and drinking throughout the entirety of the set. Meanwhile, us fans was completely lost control in the way that there were no bands on stage. It was the head of and in this very, very small space, everyone is just now a big and exhilarating experience. And that's what I love to do with it. And just don't make me do it. Don't try to do any kind of jazzy effects. Just play the music and get people to like, you know, encourage them to act like they're in a concert when there's no band on stage. And that kind of thing. Or, as well, karaoke nights. That's another thing I'd like to start with too. <laughs> that would be amazing. I mean, we managed over 100 Lolita today at the Victoria and Albert Museum, which was amazing. I'm sure, I'm sure, if we got the word out there to the girls at Frills and Frolics, I'm sure we could manage 200. Yeah, yeah. 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 We have an interview with um, H and Alto, the lead designer of H and Alto, which is kind of it's almost no one can get that much interview with H and Alto. We have, and it's, we always we always cover his fashion shows as well. So if you, if you love his work particularly, we come and read because for some reason he's a bit of a focus. But we do want to branch out to baby Sasha, right? It just will take a while to get those guys. I think it's, it's all very positive news though, and it's all positive news. So yeah, we'd love to get more credits on board, especially with the magazine and, and bringing visual kai into public eye as well as the data. So yeah, it's all good. And I'd like to ask, <laughs> Chris, um, would this kind of karaoke night or visual kai club night or something be that you'd be interested in and to be like, okay, what kind of bands you listen to? You want to get some feedback on this? Have, have you heard of Visual K before? Is it something you'd be interested in? Do you need more information? Anything we can provide you with, let us know. Send us a comment, send us emails, contact us on the Frills and Frolics page on Facebook. We want to hear from you, absolutely.